Have you ever wondered why some projects, some things that you're doing, you just feel naturally more motivated, especially when your input matters and you have more responsibility in it? Whereas other things where you don't know the big picture, you don't have that much of a say so, you just don't try that hard or try as hard. I'm here to talk to you about that phenomenon and further how can you use that to motivate yourself as well as others. Hi there, my name is Michael EJ, bringing more unconventional and thought-provoking ideas to you in the world of business and finance. I'd like to talk to you more about this book. I'm starting a series, it's a book review, about a book called named Payoff, The Hidden Logic That Shapes Our Motivations by Dr. Dan A. Riley. He's a Duke professor. He's a professor at Duke in the space of behavioral economics. And he talked about this phenomenon a little bit in his second chapter of this book, The Joy of Starting Something. And or he started off the, this chapter talking about the IKEA effect. Now for those who don't know, or never really shop at IKEA, it, you have to, you know, everything's all modern, the furniture looks really nice, everything just looks all slick. But there's a catch. You need to put it together yourself. It doesn't come to you that way. And it's that weird space where it's easy enough to you can do it and it's not really worth calling or getting professional help. So you're like, I might as well try it out myself. And usually you struggle and you might might take you forever to put that the piece of furniture that you bought from there, put it all together. But once you do, there's a sense of pride there. There's a sense of accomplishment. There's a sense of meaning there. And Dan talks about it more in depth. Basically, there's a connection between effort, ownership, and motivation. The more ownership you have over a project, or maybe your work, the more effort you give. And the more effort you give is directly connected to motivation. You feel more motivated because you have more skin in the game, essentially. So he builds on that by talking about an experiment he ran with other professors about, about origami creations. Essentially, they took a couple of participants and gave them different, varying degrees of instructions for creating some origami. So in some, they were very detailed, from the straight from the T, from everything from A to B, it's right there, and everything looks great. And some, the, the instructions were more vague, less pictures, less arrows, trying to figure out what's going on, and you just kind of have to figure it out yourself. Now, at the end of that experiment, what Dan and his colleagues found was that even though the origami creations didn't look as crisp as or clean with less instructions, the people who created those actually valued it more and expected others to pay more for it than the other and the other participants that had all the instructions and it um, at least aesthetic, aesthetically looked better. He kind of mentioned like, hey, when you give more, you expect more. And it goes back to that pride thing. Pride is a driver. Um, Self-recognition, self-accomplishment, it's a driver in our motivations. So you need to play into that. I have a little bit of experience in that myself. Back when I was in college, I took a summer internship at Goldman Sachs um, in Salt Lake City. In Salt Lake City. Halfway in there, I came, I came across some other interns, and it was self-initiating a project to help us help minimize flaws within a certain operating system. Um, it just helping with a process, um, and I didn't think that much of it at first. But one thing I found out and started realizing was that I put a lot more effort and energy in that self-initiated project with these other interns than in my day-to-day -day role. The reason why they actually hired me. And it, it probably came back to bite me in the butt because let's, let's probably spent some those last two weekends there. I put in a lot of work. I didn't really, when I, you usually don't work on weekends. But I need 
need to because I put so much of my energy into the self-initiated project and then it was over. Now, oh yeah, I got, I got actual real work to do. So, it was easy to find the motivation. It was easy to get up. And it's because I was put, not only was I put more effort, it was, I had more ownership. I had more skin in the game. It doesn't matter if I messed up day to day. I mean, there's other checks and balances behind it. When you self-initiate something, that's all on you. When you're with a team, it's all with the team. And you have to be in a team where you're comfortable speaking up, of course. But if you have a say-so, it just it, it makes you try harder. It, it behooves you as a manager or even as a parent to create more ownership for the people you're advising. It, it, it just makes pure sense. It just makes the connection and you, you'll get the best them when that happens. So yeah, that's the big idea. Second one out of three that I will be discussing from Payoff. Great book, talks about different ins and outs of motivation, different experiments connected to motivation. Yeah, it's, it's a great book. And learning how to keep yourself motivated and learning how to motivate others is very important. Which is why I'm bringing you these videos talking about this book in particular. So that's it for today. Until, by the way, is, if there's any business or finance ideas or books out there you'd like for me to discuss more in depth that may go a little bit against the grain, you might not believe it, you might not. I'll talk more about it. If you just leave them in the comment se section below, I'll walk the way you buy the book. And we'll have a discussion right here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, get more thought-provoking and unconventional ideas. Until next time, peace.